okay so we've customized the motion on the slides if we needed to and now we're ready to record a narration or a voiceover on each of the slides one slide at a time so at this point if you haven't already done so you'd want to plug your microphone into your computer a USB microphone works great if you have a, a microphone that's on your uh, headsets that's fine too so you wanna uh, put your microphone in and um, we'll begin by uh, with the first slide and um, here's the record button I'll click that in a moment one thing I want to show you first is that down here you have a text box uh, that you can add um, narration your content whatever it is you want to say on each slide you can add it into this box you know notes you might say notes on each uh, slide so that while you're recording these notes can uh, remind you of what you want to say on each slide but um, let's click on the record button and see what happens notice uh, that the first thing that happens is a dialog box opens up and says photo story needs to change the audio settings uh, what I find is that that doesn't work very well and so all I do is click on the no to close the dialog box and the moment I do that the recording actually starts so I'm gonna click on no and now you'll see the recording begins on two seconds three seconds etc so you would say whatever you need to say for this slide for example uh, I would say um, uh, when the shuttlecrafts have to be moved from one part of the US to the other it's put on top of a 747 uh, for its transportation something like that okay so when you're done recording then you hit the stop button here and uh, notice this was a 26 second recording on the first slide so to hear that recording click on the preview button and uh, now you might be able to hear recording begins on two seconds three seconds etc okay I'm gonna close this now so perhaps you heard uh, the recording that I made coming out of my speakers but uh, when you hit the preview button you hear what you recorded and if you like the recording then just go on to the next uh, slide so I'm gonna do that now uh, I'm gonna click on this slide the second one and notice when I did that the first slide has uh, the time duration it was 26 seconds now what if you didn't like the recording well let me go back to the first slide again and if I did not like the recording I made I can simply go to this delete button click that and delete the recording and then record over again okay so go to the second uh, slide and start a recording here if I need to put notes I can put notes uh, in this uh, text box and uh, that's what you do going through each of the slides in your slideshow and um, one thing I'm going to bring to your attention is this when you click on the record button and you have this dialog box come up I found that that happens on most computers but occasionally I found a computer where this dialog box doesn't come up and therefore the recording starts immediately when you hit the record button I'm going to close this and I'm going to hit the stop button there and uh, another thing I want to show you before we move on is all along while you've had this storyboard here with these thumbnails there was a quick menu or a right click menu I'm going to click I'm going to right click on this slide or this slide and notice it's a short way to go into the crop or the rotate or to delete the slide to move it backward to move it forward or to customize the motion that uh, quick menu is there by right clicking on each of the slides